Hello, I'm Rebecca Richards and I'm the Assistant Principal of Curriculum for the Junior School. We have had a terrific start to the school year and it has been lovely to catch up with so many familiar faces in the yard and welcome so many new ones. Last Wednesday evening, our amazing instructional leaders hosted a very successful classroom helper information session and there was a terrific turnout with many parents attending. We received some positive feedback from parents who completed the course and some of them had the following to say about it. That the session was very inclusive, so they were kept engaged. It was a great way to, for them to know what to expect in the classroom and why the students are doing what they do. And that they enjoyed the way it was presented as it was a mixture of information and interaction. I would like to remind parents and carers that you must complete the classroom helper course if you would like to help in our junior school classrooms or if you would like to attend an excursion. We have two more classroom helper sessions being held this year. The next one will be held on Thursday the 27th of April from 9am till 10.30am. If you would like to attend, please let Lisa Burek in our junior school office know. Not only will you learn about how to help at school, you will also learn some tips on how to help your child at home with their home learning and it's a terrific opportunity to meet new parents. Babies and welcome, toddlers are welcome to come along to the day sessions. It has been a smooth transition into 2019 as our teachers have been creating positive learning environments and developing their relationship with your child. Our teachers have prepared for this through our quality startup programs that run in the first few weeks of the term. This valuable time allows our teachers to get to know your child and their peers, set classroom expectations around learning and behaviour and discuss our school values in a fun, supportive and friendly setting. A big curriculum focus within the junior school this year is around enhancing our numeracy program. Our instructional leaders have started to deliver professional learning to all of our teachers alongside our junior school maths pilot team. Our teachers have been exploring the maths conditions for successful learning in a maths class. Our talented Year 3 domain leader, Ms Stephanie Reid, has created a video to support student learning around this. Please take the time to watch it at the end of this presentation. Again, I would like to thank you for your generous time and support. We highly value your relationship and engagement within the, within the junior school, as we know a strong homeschool partnership sets your child up for success on their educational journey. Thank you. Seven Conditions of Maths. 1. Maths esteem. Everyone can be a great maths learner. A, a growth mindset grows our brain. There, are, there is no such thing as a maths brain. We are all capable of being a great maths learner if we believe in our maths ability. 2. Mistakes. Did you know that making mistakes helps you learn? When you make a mistake, a new connection in your brain is formed. If you are not making mistakes, you are not learning. Three questions. Try this problem. 34 plus 22. Are you correct? I don't think you are. Is your friend right? Could you do it another way? It is important to ask questions in maths. Challenge yourself and challenge your friends. Prove your friends and teachers they are wrong. Be curious. Four, creativity. How many different ways can you make the number eight? Four, creativity. You can be creative in maths. When you have found one way to solve a problem, find another. Show your learning and thinking with drawing sums and with hands on material. Five, connections. We do maths every day. It is important to think about when and why we might use maths skill. For example, you you use maths when you weigh your vegetables at the shop. Six, deep thinking. Maths is not about speed. Great maths learners take their time and think deeply. They try new ways 
to solve problems and find more than one solution. You should always be able to explain your thinking. Seven, cognitive wobbles. My learning happens when I'm in the bottom of the learning curve. It is normal to feel frustrated, but that's when my brain is growing. My teacher's job is to make learning hard. For me, some, some I make mistakes. My brain is growing.